everybody, it's Tammy with TJ's Kids. I'm back today with a video for Diamond Dyes. This is a Make It With Diamond Dyes challenge video. And I did some Christmas gifts for my kids' grandparents, and I'm using them as an entry in the December challenge. So I want to go ahead and share them real quick so I can get them wrapped up for the grandparents because we do an exchange on Christmas Eve. Um, we celebrated my daughter's sweet 16 this year, and she is her Pappy's little girl. So I'm going to start off by showing you Pappy's canvas that I made for him. I got an awesome steal on a pack of canvases at um, Michael's. It was a, I believe, a seven pack of canvases that was originally like $20, and one of the canvases had a little slit in them because of the way they must have opened the box and they were marked down to like four or five dollars so like I jumped on that because I knew I could alter them so I used I ended up using three out of that pack for these gifts so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I did here this one I of course went ahead and gessoed all the backgrounds of the canvases this one I did some sprays and inks and did different variations of blues on the back and then I did some uh, paper piecing, and let me see if I can pull this camera. Oops, sorry, wrong way. Let's take you out this way a little bit. Um, let's see if I can back you up a little bit here. I'm trying to fit you in here. There we go. Um, and I used a little piece of her invitation that I made and I just did some paper piecing from the colors of her party and we had a homemade photo booth at the party so this is my daughter and her pappy and they're holding little signs that say I love you and best day ever so I took um, from a craftsmith sorry about the glare on there from the metallic um, and cut out the best day ever to match with the sign and I um, used a lot of different flowers and a lot of different diamond dyes throughout here and I used I'm going to show you the diamond dyes I used I used my of course my all-time favorite nature's flourish the medley of leaves dye and believe it or not I used the new ornament one dye but I only used the little stars and you will see those little stars sporadically around on my layout and you'll see the nature's flourish is off the flowers and of course there's your medley of leaves dye on each flower grouping so that was my first canvas I did and it turned out so well I decided to go ahead and do it for the grandmothers also this one is another variation of a canvas that I did for one of the grandmothers this one included both my kids with one grandma um, this one I ripped and tore and did some other variations with paper and I used all this, those same dies and then I also included down along here I used some words I used create memories and that comes from the diamond dies um, word one die and there you will see the stars and the flourishes and the medley of leaves all along there and that's my canvas number two and this background was done with various um, sprays such as Lindy's and um, oh my goodness Sorry, I'm just having a total blank there. Um, Heidi Swaps and Lindy's and the some spray inks that I have to create this multicolored background here. And that was my second canvas. And my third and final canvas, and this is, excuse my reach there, this is probably my favorite background. This background was created just with some new Tim Holtz Distress inks. I used 
just some inks and smeared them on there and it kind of perfectly matched the backdrop of her photo booth. Now this is for my mother and this is my sister and I in the photo booth with my mother and I thought my mother would really like this. She had individual pictures done with my children in the photo booth so we I decided to do a canvas for my mother with my sister and I for her. And again I just layered some paper and the grouping of flowers and on this canvas I again used the swirls, the medley of leaves, the stars from the ornaments, and I also added a different leaf on this. I used the skeleton leaf die, which is this one from Diamond Eyes, and I used that down here. And again, I used the word die. I used the love, the always, and up here at the top I included memories. And again, I used another cutout from a Craftsmith paper pad. And these are three canvases that I created for the grandparents for Christmas gifts. And I'm entering these into the Make It With Diamond Dies December Challenge. I'm going to go ahead and just try and give you a brief look at all three of them. That would be one. This is another one. And this was the original idea that I had in creating these canvases. Um, I'll link all the information to Diamond Eyes and the Facebook challenges down below. There's the monthly Make It With Diamond Eyes challenge and then there's also the monthly card challenge on the Facebook um, page. If you want to come and check it out, come join us. We have tons of fun. Um, thanks for watching. If any questions or suggestions, comments, please leave them down below and I'll talk to you later. Thanks guys. Bye.